Hello chemistry lovers. In today's experiment, we are going to investigate into the thermal decomposition of magnesium nitrate, calcium nitrate, calcium carbonate and magnesium carbonate. As you notice, they are group 2 elements and we are looking into the decomposition, the thermal decomposition of these nitrates and carbonates. The first step is to light up the Bunsen burner. So we connect it to the gas supply source and light up the burner first. After this, we take a little of the magnesium carbonate in a test tube and start heating. On heating, you will see that bubbles of gas being given out and this is being passed through the lime water in another test tube. And as the bubbles of the colorless gas passes through the lime water, you can very clearly see that the lime water is turning cloudy or milky. So this is a test for carbon dioxide as we all know and uh, it is evident that heating the magnesium carbonate gave out carbon dioxide. After the heating process, the residue left behind is magnesium oxide and we take it in a watch glass and add water to it. When you add water you can see the smoke, a little bit of the smoke coming out and there is a hissing sound as well and when you add a universal indicator to the solution that made it turns purple showing that it is a strong alkali. So magnesium hydroxide is pretty strong and it gives a purple color with universal indicator. The next will be heating calcium carbonate and you will see that this time you may be required to heat it a little more stronger and for a more period of time because of the position of calcium metal below magnesium in the group 2. So again the lime water is taken in another test tube and clamped onto the clamp stand and the test tube with calcium carbonate is heated strong. So can you, you can see the bubbles of gas being given out. And the timing for the whole process is recorded to ensure that uh, which of the heating took more time and why. So very strong heating is required for the calcium carbonate as it is more stable towards heat and for it to decompose it has to reach a very high temperature. So you can see that the lime water is slowly turning milky indicating that the carbon dioxide evolved. After heating the calcium carbonate, the calcium oxide which is left behind in the test tube is dropped into the watch glass <laughs> and again water is added to see any reaction taking place. So as you add water to the 
calcium oxide in the water glass it makes a hissing sound with some steam coming out clearly indicating that this is an exothermic reaction heat is given out and when you add the universal indicator indicator you can see the color change to blue color so this shows that the resultant solution calcium hydroxide is an alpha but compared to magnesium hydroxide, calcium hydroxide is a weaker The next, we will be heating magnesium nitrate and this is done in a fume cupboard. So magnesium nitrate, uh, the, it is a solid crystal, crystalline substance. And on heating, you can see that it is converted <laughs> to a liquid immediately with heat. That means the crystals will dissolve in the liquid. And on strong heating, you can see the gas coming out there. More, you know, very strong heating, you can see that the solution, that the solution boils. Now it's very distinct. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, and see then the brown gas coming out. Brown yes. color oh. being created. Yes. And yes. fumes Look at that. of brown oh. gas is yeah, given out. This is nitrogen yeah. dioxide yeah. gas yeah. being evolved. Yeah. And yeah. along with nitrogen dioxide, there is also oxygen being given out. So when you're heating the magnesium nitrate, the products formed are magnesium nitrite. Sorry, magnesium oxide, mm -hmm. nitrogen dioxide, and oxygen. This is so high inside. So no. In that case, you got to. And the solid left behind is white, and it is sticking to the side. Just directly of the test add the water to the test tube. So, so a lot of enough. nitrogen dioxide gas is being evolved, evolved as you can see in this experiment. And once all the gas is expelled, we can take the white solid and test for its acidity or alkalinity. Hey. Wait, what? So it's acid. Hmm. Why did it turn red? That's a good question. And it is becoming... Okay. Now, the the nitric, acid. nitric acid, yes. Oh. White solid formed in the test tube. Add it to the watch glass, add some water and add the universal indicator.